right on the stand. Good evening, everyone. My name, is, my name is David Hicks. I'm one of the area superintendents uh, for secondary academic programs in our school district. And I want to thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to come out tonight on a very exciting evening. Braswell High School has been many, many years in the planning stages, and we're getting closer and closer to the opening uh, next school year. So it's a very exciting time for our district. I want to also thank uh, everyone who's been involved in the process as um, volunteers or members of our bond committee and planning groups, our students and uh, parents who were part of the planning process for the unveiling of the mascot and colors tonight, and everyone who's been involved in the community talking about the opportunities that will be available to our kids at our new school. Tonight it's my pleasure to introduce or reintroduce uh, to some of you our principal for Braswell High School, uh, Mrs. Leslie Guardo. <laughs> Leslie is uh, not only a colleague, uh, but a friend of mine, and I know that you're going to, uh, as you get to know her, really enjoy her as a person, but also her leadership uh, in our school. So uh, welcome to our community, Leslie, and uh, we're excited thanks. you're here, and I'll turn it over to you. All right, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hicks. I really appreciate that. I'm going to come up here on stage because I want to see everybody. And plus, I have my notes, and yes, I need reading glasses. A 23-year-old needs reading glasses, apparently. Thank you for laughing because that was a joke. Okay, first of all, uh, I want to make a couple of introductions and say a couple of housekeeping notes. Um, right back there is a video camera. We're videoing this so we can post this on the website so that people who are not here who are at the games uh, can also get the information. So we do need to keep that center aisle clear. Also, please bear with uh, Coach Moore and, and me as we switch out the video mic. So we're, we're dealing with two mics here, so bear with us. So welcome, um, a couple of, okay, we've already met Dr. Hicks, so thank you for that wonderful introduction, Dr. Hicks. I also want to introduce a couple of, y'all can clap, he's my boss. I also want to introduce a couple of other people that hopefully will be able to be in front of you uh, more. Uh, late In just a little while, you're also going to meet Coach uh, Cody Moore, who is the campus athletic director and head football coach. My understanding is he's already a big hit with the Navo football boys, so that's really good. And also, very, 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 very special is uh, Braswell High School's namesake, Dr. Ray Braswell, former superintendent of Denton ISD, is here, and I'd like to introduce him. What, what I love about this is he's here and he's been very involved and you'll see him a couple of more times or hopefully a lot more times. In fact, we have a plan, Dr. Braswell does not know this yet, but we have a plan when I can't be at Braswell High School, he's gonna be the substitute principal. So that's great. Also, I wanna thank the communications department for Denton ISD, they have been wonderful. I am new to Denton and Denton ISD and they have been great at, um, helping me become acclimated. So I know they like to be behind the scenes, but Mario Zavala and Julie Zwar, thank y'all very much for all of your help. And really, there have been numerous parents who have helped. Uh, Tracy Lau here from NAVO has been helping since earlier this afternoon. So thank y'all, and I know I'm not naming everybody, and please forgive me, but please know you are greatly appreciated. Okay, we, I, I'm hoping to be known for brevity, um, so let's, let's go move on. First of all, you need to know that Braswell, I'm not in a trailer at the construction site. I actually have a cubicle at Central Services. I'm not sure which, you know, lesser of two evils, I'm not sure. Love my cubicle because I get to know a lot of people at Central Services. Um, so Braswell High School it right now is located at Central Services. In just a minute, I'm going to give you our, our uh, what do you call it, contact information. By November 1st, we will be 
semi-permanently at Paloma Creek. You may wonder why uh, we're not housed here at NAVO, but all you have to do is come during the day and see how many people are in the building and realize Braswell won't fit at NAVO. So we are in an office or a kind of a classroomy kind of office at Paloma Creek starting November 1st, by November 1st. Um, from now until then, every Friday, I will be here at Paloma Creek, at the Paloma Creek location every Friday. So that's just give you an idea. I'm not in a trailer over there. So as, um, as we sell more t-shirts and other items, it's, it's, that's why it takes a lot of planning is because we're, we're kind of everywhere right now. Okay, let's go on. I'm Miss Guajardo, thank you. And just to get you, to give you a little bit of information about me, um, this is my 21st year in education, and I always make the joke, yes, they let 12-year-olds teach back in the day, because I have 20 years. A little bit of laugh, okay, that's fine. You don't have to laugh at everything that I say, that's fine. When I started teaching, I started teaching at Lee High School in Midland, Texas. I taught high school English to sophomores, juniors. Uh, I don't think I ever taught seniors, just sophomores and juniors. Did that for about six and a half years. Uh, after, I, then I was in, I went to a Lee, no, 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 Midland freshman as an assistant principal. Anyway, Midland ISD, then I had a short stint in Leander ISD, which is by Austin. And then I had the bright idea of coming to North Texas, and I never looked back. Um, about 11 years ago, came to the Fort Worth area, uh, worked in HEB for the last, that's uh, Hearst Euless Bedford, not the grocery store, uh, for the last um, 11 years. I've been at the same school, loved my school, was loved the families. It would have taken a lot, and it did take a lot to tear me away from a district that I love, but guys, didn't is pretty awesome and I'm so glad to be here. So, um, and now I'm here in Denton ISD. I am originally from Level Land, and a lot of people think I say Love Land. Level Land, as in no hills, level. Level Land, it's 20, does anybody know where that is? Couple, you know, I, was, I forgot, I, I wasn't gonna say this and I just remembered, Dr. Braswell and I went, not at the same time, but went to the same, <laughs> his wife was laughing. I'm just a little bit younger than he is, but we went to the same elementary school in Level Land, Texas, Cactus Elementary. That is just amazing to me. My mother taught there, um, but at some point he was in Cactus Cougar, and so was I, so that, anyway, tidbit. That just put us about 30 seconds behind. I'm so sorry. Okay, Level Land, 26 miles west of Lubbock. I received my bachelor's and master's from Texas Tech University and just recently, yeah, guns up. Oh, can I say that in the school? I don't know. Okay. Um, I just recently uh, earned my PhD from the University of North Texas. So proud to be a UNT Eagle. But the most important thing, the most important thing is my unbelievably supportive husband, David Lambert. It's not David Wajardo, although he doesn't get offended if you call him that. Uh, David Lambert is behind the camera right back there. If he would wave. I would not be here if it wasn't for that man. He's, he's wonderful. He is the owner of Lambert Studios, which is a recording studio and video production. Um, and we are move, we're, once we move to this area, right now we live in North Fort Worth. Our house is on the market. If anybody, nobody wants to move over there. But <laughs> our house is on the market. We will be moving here uh, hopefully soon, and Lambert Studios will be coming with us. So that will be another business in, in the area. But anyway, David Lambert, thank you so much for all of your support. At this time, I'm going to stop talking and introduce you to our very own, very first, Campus Athletic Director, Cody Moore. You did turn it off? All right, I gotta be honest, I didn't know I was gonna have to follow a, a stand-up comedian act. 
is... <laughs> All right, a little bit about me. Um, I, this is my 12th year in education. I, uh, I started my career at Roy City High School. We were very, very successful there. I was there for four years in that time. We were 44 and 16. Um, I went from there to Mesquite Horn. I was at Mesquite Horn for five years as the offensive coordinator, um, and then to Rockwall for two years after that. Um, I, uh, I grew up in Elkhart, Texas. Now, it's not Dalhart, it's not in West Texas. It's a very, very small town just south of Tyler. Um, I attended Texas A&M University Commerce. I got my, yeah, that doesn't get quite the reaction. <laughs> There's really nothing you can do. It's, it's kind of out there, and we don't have, like, our own deal. Uh, I got my master's there and my bachelor's there. Um, my beautiful wife, Stephanie, if you'd stand up. She is currently teaching uh, English at Rockwell High School. I'm going to try to pull a few strings, see if I can get her on at Braswell. I don't know if we can make that happen. I'm going to try to. We have, we have a three-year-old son who's, he's with, he's with grandma tonight, and he's going to get in bed at a decent hour. Um, he's a mess. He's also a handful. She wouldn't be able to sit here if he were here. <clears throat> All right, there, there have been a few questions. I just want to address some things that, uh, questions that I've gotten um, about sports and what sports we're going to offer at Braswell, um, what level we're going to play, how many teams we're going to have. We're going to have everything at Braswell that they have at every other school. Okay? Your children are going to be offered the very same opportunities here that they're offered at every other high school. And, I, you know, I've had a few questions about that. I just want to make sure, and that's from day one. All right, so from the time it opens in 2016, we're going to have all the sports. So, you know, you go, go down the list, football, basketball, baseball, golf, um, on and on and on. Um, as far as how many teams we're going to have and, and what the enrollment's going to be, I, it's impossible for me to answer what the enrollment's going to be. The number of teams that we're going to have is going to de depend on the students and, and how many participants we have. Uh, but we are going to play varsity competition from day one. All right, and, and, and you know, again, as far as enrollment goes, I'm not sure could be 4A, could be 5A, I don't know. They're still working that stuff out. That's above, that's above my pay grade. Um, <clears throat> and then the last thing I want to touch on is, you know, it's never too early to start planning for booster clubs. And in all seriousness, b behind every good program is a good support system. And, you know, that starts with parents, community members, um, our, I will tell you, our vision for our booster club, our, our booster clubs, I should say, is going to be a sports-specific booster club. All right, so each sport, we want to have a specific booster club that funds, that fundraises for that sport and that is supported for that sport. That way, I just think it's a good idea that you're, as a parent, my child plays soccer and I want to be a part of the soccer booster club, I know when I, when I fundraise and I work my tail off to make money for, for my program, I know where it's going. Um, and so there's never, there's never any question about that. Um, again, if you have any questions for me, you can email me also. Everybody loves a winner and a beginner. And I am housed at Collins. And I have a bigger office than Coach Florence. It is a storage room, but it is a, it is a really big room. <laughs> All right. That's how I'm going to end. <laughs> it's not that time yet. Don't get excited. <laughs> We've got to do a couple of more things before we get to the great... I still have 15 minutes, guys, so calm. All right. Um, the next thing I want to do is tell you that... I hope this works.
Yes. This is how you can contact us. There's, we have a Braswell High School office number, and this is it. You can go ahead and get your phones out and program it into your phone. And my email and Coach Moore's email. And those, oh, or take a picture of it. That's even faster. This is, um, I think, if you've emailed me about a parent concern, I've emailed you back or called you, that's very important to me to make sure that I make that contact to you. So this is how you can contact us. More importantly, you need to know how we are going to contact you. I'm about to click. This is how we are gonna communicate with you. I will not do mail outs because I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the paper and we're gonna be digital, okay? Thank you for that. First of all is the Braswell High School website. I know a lot of you don't go to the website. We also are, are connected with social media. I will be very honest with you. We do the Facebook page a lot more frequently than the Twitter, but we try to do the Twitter too. We also have an Instagram account. I think there's been one picture on Instagram, so I'm not sure. Uh, also, the you will get many of you or most of you hopefully all of you have gotten email blasts from me and this is how that works the email you have provided the school through registration and e-school is how i get your email so make sure that is correct in your current students registration information if it's not correct make it correct and you'll get contacted if for some reason you have not gotten at least two email blasts from me you might want to email me Tell me who your student is and I'll research that for you to find out why you're not getting those emails. I'm also trying to put in a newsletter at least every month for you, so just give you information. That's how we are gonna communicate with you, okay? And now I want to talk about FAQs. And I'm gonna leave this up here while I talk about FAQs. A lot of you or several parents have asked me questions and a lot of them are the same. So I'm gonna go over the FAQs. All of these are on our website. I'm not gonna take questions today for time's sake because we could be here for two or three hours and we just don't wanna do that. So I'm going to go over our frequently asked questions. They're on the website as well. If I don't address your question, please email me. Please email me. So the first one is what grades will the school open with? Braswell High School will open next year with 9th, 10th, and 11th. 9th, 10th, and 11th. So who is zoned for Braswell? Although attendance project, yes, I am reading, sorry. Although attendance projections are still being studied, the uh, attendance zone will be very likely the same attendance zone as Navo Middle School. And this is what I've told parents all along. Students who went to Navo Middle School will attend Braswell High School. This includes current 9th and 10th grade students currently at Ryan and Denton High School. The rezoning plan will be shared with families in October and the feedback will be solicited before the decision is made by the trustees. Denton High School students who are in the IB program will be allowed to stay at Denton High School graduation. In fact, if an IB student tries to come to Braswell, I will try to talk them out of it because IB is very important if they are currently in IB. Siblings of those students may apply for a transfer to Denton High School as long as their older students remain in the IB program. So what kind of academic programs will be offered? And the answer is just the same as the, the sports question. We will offer all academic programs except IB that other high schools offer. This is subject to enrollment requests. One of the students, one, I think the Wilson, younger Wilson a daughter asked, what about Latin? Was it you? Oh, it was Celeste. Asked, what about Latin? And I said, if we have enough requests, and I can find a someone who teaches Latin, no. If we have enough requests, then yes, we will offer Latin. So, and this also includes advanced placement classes, dual credit classes, special ed classes, everything that the other high schools, we will have it all. We're gonna be all inclusive, okay. What kind of extracurricular activities? We will offer the same kinds of extracurricular activities that other high schools offer. This includes dance, drill team, we have to have a drill team, guys, a marching band, choir, theater, cheerleading, all of those things. We will have the same things. 
Uh, we will also have uh, the same organizations as other high school, Student Council, uh, National Honor Society. I put National Junior Honor. It's National Honor Society. I need to change that. Uh, Taffy, FFA, all of those. And other, other interests and organizations, if a bunch of students want a chess club, then we're going to have a chess club. So all those organizations. Okay, here's the important one. What about the pedestrian walkway plan? And I'm going to read this. The district will develop a comprehensive pedestrian plan before the opening of Braswell High School. The plan is dependent on traffic-related issues that are still being considered by TxDOT. One of those issues includes our request for an additional traffic signal on Highway 380. The plan will continue to be updated as more information becomes available so that it provides for safe travel for students to and from the high school. The district has committed to busing any student that lives north of 380. Now, what I predict will happen, first of all, I promise you I will communicate that information. I know it's very important to many of you. It's very important to me as well. I will communicate the information as I know it to you. And I, what I imagine is we'll have one of our monthly meetings and this will be the uh, topic. Will the building be open to the community? Yes. We know that the campus will be a premier facility for our students. It's a focal point of the 380 corridor. Uh, tours will be scheduled for the community and the building has been designed to accommodate school, I'm sorry, I missed a line. Tours will be scheduled for the community and the building has been designed to accommodate school and community events. However, the use of district facilities for non-school purposes is arranged through our operations department depending on availability and established rental rates. So hopefully that answers your question. But again, if you have any other questions, feel free to email me. A lot of people have asked me about the hiring of our staff. I will communicate that through Facebook and our website. Currently, the postings that are active for Braswell High School are associate principal, lead counselor, and assistant principal. There's a pool for assistant principal. So those are the three current openings that we have that we're actively taking applications for. Um, probably, well, as other openings become available and are posted, again, Facebook, Twitter, and our website. When will the stadium be built? Speaking of stadium, um, our athletic complex at Braswell High School, you may or may not know, is called the Bill Carrico Athletic Complex. And I would like at this time to introduce to you the Bill Carrico right over here. Again, it is a very special thing for us to have both namesakes uh, involved. Both gentlemen, Dr. Braswell and Bill Carrico, were on the Colors Mascot Committee, and that's just a special opportunity for us. Also, if you're not aware, the, uh, the Education Foundation has a video. It's called When We Were All Broncos. It's a documentary about the 1970, 1972 uh, Ditton High School Broncos. Excellent movie. I highly encourage you to buy it. It's $25 from Central Services. It's a fantastic movie. And Bill Carrico is in it. I mean, that itself, you should buy it. Okay, speaking of the stadium, is it? It feels like it's getting darker in here. Uh, the Bill Carrico Athletic Complex will include a 1,000 seat stadium, 500 on both sides for middle school and JV games. A plan for the full stadium was not included in the original bond. Plans to add additional classroom space and build a full stadium will be included in future bond projects subject to the need and community approval. I think that means bond, you have to vote for it. So that's what the stadium, but our stadium will be built, a thousand seat stadium. Okay, will the entire building be open by the first day of school? Our construction plan is for the entire school to be ready for the first day of school, but that is subject to potential weather delays. 
that can be, okay, potential weather delays that can be anticipated but not controlled during a two-year construction project. Our construction team continues to work six days a week to have the school ready for students by August 2016. And also in the monthly meetings, we will have updates with that. Uh, I also have, I have more questions. How do I contact the school? And then I have all the contact information. These are all in the FAQs. Now it's very likely you have an extended question that you have uh, for me and you can certainly email me. And I gave you my email address. Um, and then if you uh, need to rehear what we just, uh, what I just went over, this recording will be on the website and of course the printed will also be on the website. Okay. And now, no, it's not yet, almost. <laughs> what I want you to watch for, our next, we're about, it's, it's, a, it's a couple of minutes away. I got three minutes left to, we got to finish this in three minutes. Um, our next t-shirt design will be inspired by a student. Students need to look for this information through our social media, through our website. I'll send out email blasts that's coming in the next week or so. We're going to have a t-shirt design contest. Now, before I go any further, and we are going to Mr. Foster. Oh, he's already there. Now, the lights. Okay, at this time I want to introduce to you a group of people who have been wonderful. Uh, the Colors Mascot Committee, and many of you wonder wh where did this committee come from? They come from recommendations from the administration here at NAVO, at Ryan, and at Denton High School. I didn't know any of these kids, and in some instances I had a list of kids and I literally randomly picked people. I had no idea who they were. I'm so delighted to have gotten to know them. I also chose some business members here on the 380 corridor, and then, of course, uh, Dr. Braswell and uh, Coach Carrico. So at this time, if the Colors Mascot Committee could come forward, and they have stations. No, hold on, hold on, just a minute, hold on. Patience, guys, they're excited. They don't know what it is, by the way. Um, before we reveal, I have to say this. I, we had over 750 students vote. This was a very important to me that students got to vote for this. I know not everybody got to vote, but th these were our student selection. These are the guys that created this options. There were five color options and five mascot options. And the, not me, um, sorry, I had to touch that mic. Uh, these are the guys that helped do that. And I'm so grateful for their hard work. So thank you, all of you. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Furthermore, I have to, I, I'm not big on thanking companies, but this poor guy, um, has had texts for me late at night because I'm like, what about this or what about this color? I'd like to introduce the representative from Groggy Dog, Jeff Bowerman, if you would. And this is why Jeff has a magical person named Vince, uh, Dr. Vince, doc, the doctor, doctor, doctor of design. He created our logo because we are now going to unveil the logo we're going to, oh, look at all the cameras. Guys, everybody is watching you. So if I just kind of hummed along, okay, y'all won't do that. I can sing for, I won't do that. Okay, they created this logo and we're so proud. So what we're going to do is we're going to count down from five. We need everybody to count down for, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, are, are, we, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Oh, hold on, I got to say one more thing. At the end of this, Coach Moore has a prototype of the varsity football helmet. It's a prototype, may have some tweaks here and there, maybe not, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one.
ladies and gentlemen, take your pictures. Thank you for coming. Y'all have a good night. Thank you.